Hey friend, my name is Wanja. Welcome to my space. <laughs> so yesterday I was scrolling on TikTok. I came across a video of a lady who was talking and, she, and the said, video was titled, I'm not a lesbian. She was dressed in clothes that were looking masculine. Her hairstyle was masculine, you know, the ones that, you know, she's shaved the sides and then some, there's a design over here, some <laughs> braids over here. Yeah. So she was talking about how she's not a lesbian. And she was telling her story. She was talking about how when she was seven years old, she'd go visit her aunt. And her when her aunt would go to work, her, she would be left with her aunt's nephew. And this nephew would molest her. And go to a point where this nephew made her watch porn. And he told her, you remember this is a seven-year-old child. And he told her, I want you to do what they are doing in the video. That's what I want you to do to me. So imagine that happening to a seven-year-old child. And she also, she also says that in the same breath, at seven years, she was a big fan of Whitney Houston. And she, 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 she had, she watched the movie, The Bodyguard. I, not, I don't know how much, <laughs> I don't know how many of you watched it, but I watched The Bodyguard, though my memory is a bit spotty. But I remember loving the movie, right? And she watched The Bodyguard. And in that film, she saw this white guy who was, you remember the, the bodyguard who was with Houston's bodyguard. And you know, she says she started, she, she now dresses like that bodyguard who was dressing with me, who was protecting with me Houston. She's dressing like her protector because no one was there to protect her as a child. So now she's dressing as her own protector. She's doing that to protect herself because the adult in her life could not protect her and she needed the protection. And I'm telling you that story really, really broke my heart. It was, it was heartbreaking that, you know, her innocence was lost at seven years. And this is trauma she will live with for the rest of her life. Believe it or not, there are some traumas we just don't get past. And they influence us till the day that we die. Because for the longest, for, for I think maybe the rest of her life, she will always protect that little girl who was, who was molested. She was seven. She was only seven years, seven years old, and she had no one to protect her. So today, she dresses as her own bodyguard to protect herself because <sighs> no one protected her. And that got me thinking, a lot of us, a lot of people, I would go as far as to say 99.9% .9 of people walk around with their traumas, but they may not be as obvious as hers. You know, hers are obvious by the sense of she has told us the story. So every time you see her, every time I see, interact with her content online, I will always know what she went through. But for some people, the traumas, they carry, they are so deep, they are so heartbreaking, and unfortunately we will never know. And we are what we are because of the things we've been through. And the thing is, sometimes we, ne we will never heal. And that's why I keep saying it's important to go to therapy because in as much as the healing may not be 100%, every time that thing arises, having gone to therapy, you know how to deal with it. You know, you, you, you get the tools you need to deal with that trauma. My God, I don't know. It's just made me a bit emotional. Emotional. Because it's sad. Now, unfortunately, I would really, really like to remember my traumas as a child. Or would I? Because my memory, my child, my memory as a child is very, very spotty. I don't remember anything. I don't remember much, if, if at all, if anything it's very, very spotty. So I cannot stand here authoritatively and say I do this because of this. Unless, well, there's some things that happen when, you know, you're a teenager interacting with the parents that I know for sure influenced the way I am right now. Those ones I know. But the ones in childhood, I really don't remember. I really don't. And maybe there's a very good reason why I don't remember. Because there's this thing our minds do when we've been through a great deal of trauma. It's called repression. Repression is when our minds just snatch those memories and they put them away, they lock them away because the mind knows you could never 
you could never deal with those and there's another coping mechanism called suppression suppression is when you suppress those memories voluntarily repression is when the mind does it for you it's very involuntary you don't even know what is what happened or what is happening when the mem memories are being repressed one is voluntary the other one is not but i'm not saying that's what happened i'm just saying i don't remember and maybe there's a good reason i don't remember now bringing it back to my life <laughs> i think i had I, I've been having, no, I've not been, it's not been a recurrent thing, but last night I was having an anxiety dream. You know, for the longest time, for like almost a decade of my life, constantly I would dream about being in high school, sitting for my KCSE. And it would always be, I'm not ready, I need to read for history, I need to read for CRE. I was, I was not good at humanities, so those, those, I, I, I suppose this ones used to stress me a lot. So in the dream, I'm like, I'm not ready. Exam is next. Whenever the exam is, it's like, I need to study for this and this. And then today I remember thinking, wait, wait, no, I'm 30 years old. I did my KCSE and got a good grade. But for the longest time, I used to have these anxiety dreams. And I didn't know what was happening. So I did some research on it. So when you keep having a recurring dream, like a dream over and over and over again. So the reason why I was having those dreams then, and maybe I was having it last night, is because there's some anxiety that I'm not addressing in my life. And the reason why it's showing up in my dream life, it's because that is probably the same, the same kind of anxiety I had at that time when I was about to sit for my KCSE. Am I making sense? Like, your mind is trying to... <laughs> To resolve issues, you're, you're, you're anxious in your waking life. You're not doing anything about it. So in dreamland, your mind brings you back to a time when you had the same, of, the same kind of anxiety. Does it make sense? To show you that you can never truly run away from anything. If you don't deal with it in your waking life, it will come up while you're dreaming at night. So I don't know what it is I need to address. Because remember I said I dreamt... I had that room for 10 years and i didn't know till that i don't think i ever found out why i was having that dream and now it's back and i hope it's not back for long i really really hope it's not back for long because uh, it's not a good dream i don't i don't enjoy it i don't like it yeah yeah so that's that it is today's wednesday i want to prepare some greens I don't think I'll cook anything apart from green stuff because I have a lot of food in the fridge. And then what else? Nothing else. Yeah, and then maybe in the evening, at night, I'll do my prayers after my shower. And then call it a night. Not much, not much else. Not much else is happening. It's been rain. It's, raised. it's rained a bit and it looks like it will rain some more. Not much, not much happening. So yeah, I'll try and resolve my anxiety in my waking life because I don't want... It to show up in my dream again because I really really hate that dream. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I'll definitely see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Hey. <laughs> so it is Friday afternoon. It's been raining on and off, but right now we have a bit of sun, which is lovely. It's so calm and nice, and it's not as dusty as it was. So it's perfect. And the fact that I don't know how it's working for everyone else who is living every day. And the fact that I'm not leaving the house every day. It's working perfectly for me. Because <laughs> I don't like being out and about when it's raining. I don't like it. <laughs> I prefer to be indoors. So it's working perfectly for me. So in other news, <clears throat> my Hina tattoo still on. Still, you see, this is the reaction I got after I got the Hina tattoo. And the reaction has not cleared but it's no longer itchy. I just have a really cute tattoo now. A part of me hopes it won't fade like completely. But even if it does, just as well. <laughs> I had a good time with it, apart from when it was itchy and I had a rash, but I don't have the rash anymore. And so my skin is very sensitive, right? So I recently discovered that I react to a lot of toothpastes. I'd been using Sensodyne for the longest time, but then I, I realized it makes 
there's a there's a specific flavor I was using that was making me break out on the corners of my mouth and it was making my the lining of my mouth like really really peel a lot a lot a lot which is not normal um so i changed to another brand uh, and one that is friendly for people with sensitive skin and who are allergic to some ingredients in the toothpaste it's been working very very well trouble is it is quite expensive it is quite expensive compared to normal toothpaste actually it's very expensive compared to normal toothpaste so I almost ran out. So because I didn't want to run out Kabisa, I replaced it with like an ordinary uh, toothpaste, like those herbal ones. And it was working well until I realized it's making me, <laughs> giving me a rash over here. I had a painful rash over here. So I stopped using it. So I'm back to my very expensive one. I'm just praying God gave me this skin. He knew I would have these problems. So may he put the money in my account so that I can buy a new tube of toothpaste. <laughs> but other than that, the days are glorious. The days are beautiful. I've been great. I hope you've been amazing. And today I was talking to a friend of mine. And hey friend. <laughs> and as we were talking, I remembered a quote. Rather, something I saw that was saying, when it rains, butterflies rest because the rain damages their wings so it's okay to rest you'll fly again and that got me thinking you know during this period of my life the past seven months have been a period of rest truly for me most of the past um two months the past two months i would say have been the period of my life where i've really been resting and <clears throat> dedicated my time fully to regulating my nervous system let me tell you for like early in the year i used to have my eyes used to twitch a lot my muscles were so tight i was restless i was anxious i was a lot of things those are all signs of a dysregulated immune system no dysregulated nervous system like it was all over the place my eye was constantly twitching and i'd be like what why what's wrong <laughs> Turns out it was a dysregulated nervous system. And here I am. I refused, for a period of time, I had refused to apply to jobs because it was very, very important for me to take care of me first. And my parents, I don't know, they, they didn't understand this. I don't even know that they, they don't get it. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But leaning towards, they don't really get why I wasn't applying to jobs given that I haven't been employed for the last seven months. But it was... For me, it was more important to rest, to regulate my body, to regulate my nervous system than to get a job. And I know this is a luxury for me. I don't take it for granted. You know, come to think of it, like two months ago, there's someone, there's a, I had posted one of my links, like the link of my video talking about my resignation and the reasons why I re resigned on, on Facebook, had posted the link there. And then someone had the audacity to, you know, repost it. But the caption is what got me like, oh, wow, interesting. They were saying, you can watch the video. And if you have rich parents who can support you, you can quit your job. <sighs> I don't have rich parents who are supporting me. My God, it is me and God. <laughs> I don't have my parents supporting me. This was a very solo decision. And it's, it's been me living every day. No parents are supporting in this. And it's okay, I'm not suffering. <laughs> you know? And that, I, I thought, you know, people are really presumptuous. People really assume they know people. And that's okay. That's their opinion. That's neither here nor there. Their opinion is none of my business. Truly, truly. Anyone's opinion of you is none of your business. It was just interesting to think that. That me, I'm suffering to stretch out a thousand. But you think my parents are supporting me. Hey, God give me this money <laughs> that, <laughs> that I look like, like I have, but all is well. It's neither here nor there. It was just interesting. It was just an interesting repost. And I was like, you know what? I won't comment. Thank you for sharing. Let's keep it moving. We keep it pushing. So as I was saying, this period of my life may not make sense to a lot of people, but it makes sense to me. Me, my, my wings had not even been rained on. They were not rained on. Mine had been clipped off. 
I was missing wings. I was missing wings completely, completely. I was, I don't know how I was surviving. Now, when I look back, I don't know how I was surviving. I was a person devoid of confidence, um, <coughs> self-esteem. You know, I was working, the, when, when I used to be out there in the world, I used to feel like, oh my God, I feel like either I'm naked or either I'm in very tattered, dirty clothes. That's, how, that's what I can equate to my self-esteem, how it was then. It was terrible. And now standing here, you know, my wings have gone back. <laughs> More beautiful than ever. And it may not make sense to, re to rest during a time when things don't make sense in the world. But if it makes sense for you, just do it for you. Whatever rest means for you. Rest may not mean resigning like I did. No, I wouldn't recommend it if you don't have an alternative source of income. Rest does not mean going all out. Rest could be starting therapy. Rest could be building a community of people who support you, not fake friends who show you they are supporting you one day and then the next day you hear them talking about you. If you don't have such a circle and you can afford therapy, please go for therapy. If you don't, can't afford therapy, your church offers therapy, go. If you don't go to church but you have had <clears throat> pro bono services somewhere please just go you need all the support you can get equip yourself with the tools that you need to survive this life because this life is not easy it will hand you blow after blow after blow and you're supposed to come back come out of it strong and looking like somewhat of a, an adult so get all the help you can get rest Weekends, you're supposed to be socializing, but you need to, to recharge. Recharge. Be selfish. We have grown up in a society where, where, where selfishness is so negative, and you're not supposed to do things for yourself. You're not supposed to put yourself first. Put yourself first. One day you will die. <laughs> Might as well put yourself first right now. Live for you. I think it's time we started living for ourselves as opposed to anyone else but because on your deathbed you'll be glad you lived a beautiful life right and it starts today just start making choices that are good for you and in the end they'll be good for the ones around you because if you're running around you're angry or bitter best believe the ones who are getting the worst of it are the ones around you not even you, you may be suffering but the ones around you are suffering as well so do yourself a favor, rest. If you're going through a storm, rest. Slow down. Slow down. Life will still be there after you're healed and you're regulated. Life continues. You know how we keep saying, even after you're long dead, life continues? Same. But you can't live in crisis the, uh, your whole life. You can't. You cannot. You cannot live with high cortisol levels. For your whole life you can't let me tell you if you don't stop your body will stop you at some point and it will be ugly you will not like it you will not like it so take all the rest you can get we will fly again <clears throat> i'm getting ready to fly again so we will fly again life is long but it's also short that's that's a nice paradox that life give us life is long <laughs> you live forever but life is also very very short it could be gone like this it's very very fragile so enjoy every day a moment at a time so right now we are butterflies butterflies don't fly when it's raining there's a storm in your life rest you'll fly again it's quite simple but i know most times it's easier said than done especially when you have responsibilities and everything but once you prioritize yourself, everything else will fall into place. Everything else will fall into place. So yeah, I think that's all I had to say for now. I realized I said I wouldn't be making two-day entries, and that's all I've been doing. But even me, I'm working on myself. <laughs> so forgive the short vlogs, but we'll be back soon. Hopefully, the next vlog entries will be longer. Because I like the longer ones. I get out as much as I need to get out. So with regard to the last entry I made, let's be kind to each other. We are all traumatized in one way or another. Be kind to one another. 
that it's not much just be kind if you can't be quite kind be quiet that's it you don't have to have a comment for everything every single event in life every person's struggle you have a comment no you can just be quiet so i'll definitely see you in the next one if you're if you're a resting butterfly like me let's rest if you're flying fly as so as high as you can <sighs> i really do wish you well <laughs> from the bottom of my heart i know i say this a lot but it's genuine 100 percent. i really really do wish you well and i hope everything that you do brings you wins on wins on wins yeah yeah that's the message for today i hope you do well and you thrive in everything that you do but all said and done thank you for being here thank you very much for being here thank you for coming back every time thank you for the support thank you for liking this video you have liked it yeah thank you <laughs> thank you you haven't subscribed yeah subscribe so that we can keep interacting leave a comment so if you'd like me to talk about something you can do it in the comment section so i'll definitely see you in the next one do take care of yourself and please stay hydrated